Students often freak out when they see these fancy opthal vocabulary words. USMLE doesn't really give a fuck. I'll tell you exactly what you need to know and not waste our fucking time, okay? So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. 64-year-old man. He has a history of type 2 diabetes, mellitus, and hypertension. He reports no visual disturbances. Fundoscopic examination shows a refractile body in the right eye. He works in metallurgy, which is with metals. And questions asking the most likely explanation for these findings. Now look, this descriptor, fractile body, we can call it weird all we want. Not my fucking opinion. I've seen it on the NBME exam. Okay, so let's just whip through the answer choices here. As I said, I'm going to stay consolidated, not waste our time. Let's go backwards. Hard exudate, wrong fucking answer. This refers to proteinaceous deposits as a result of a defective blood retinal barrier. Can be fibrinogen albumin. Okay, we can see these in diabetic uh, retinopathy as well as hypertensive retinopathy. Although this guy has both type 2 diabetes, mellitus, and hypertension, these don't present as a quote-unquote refractile body. Wrong fucking answer. Choice E, foreign body, wrong answer. Now you say, well, he works in metallurgy, okay? I mean, grinding metal. If there's a foreign body in the eye, uh, the patient's going to present with an extremely painful, tearing eye. Okay, when they want some sort of foreign body or corneal uh, abrasion, they'll make it about uh, doing a fluorescein installation of the eye. Okay, it's a whole separate discussion I made prior to clips uh, regarding that stuff, but uh, he'd have a very painful eye here. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, Drusen, wrong answer. These are just lipid deposits that can be seen in macular degeneration. That's all you need to know. Okay, they're yellow. They're lipid deposits, and you see them in macular degeneration. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, cotton wool spots. Wrong answer. Also known as soft exudates. These reflect uh, axonoplasmic material, okay? Neuronal degeneration within the eye. Uh, similar to hard exudates, cotton wool spots or soft exudates can be seen in diabetic uh, retinopathy as well as hypertensive retinopathy. Once again, uh, doesn't uh, reflect in any way our refractile body. Okay, nebulous descriptor here. Choice B, cholesterol is the correct answer. Okay, this is a cholesterol embolus, presumably from the right common carotid artery. Okay, so hypertension, biggest risk factor for carotid stenosis. You're going to have uh, systolic impulse pounding the carotids, endothelial damage, you get atheromata. And you can get stroke, TIA, retinal artery occlusions. Now, there is no visual disturbance here. Okay, once again, not my fucking opinion. This is similar to what's on the NBME exam. And this refractile body seen incidentally on a fundoscopic examination, this just means that there's some sort of embolus present, okay, presumably from the carotids. This is the correct answer. This is what you need to know. Real quick, AV nicking, wrong fucking answer. This is just a buzzy descriptor. That could be seen in hypertensive retinopathy. Nothing else you need to know, okay? If you get a big rambling paragraph and they just say AV nicking somewhere in there, you're like, oh, okay, that's hypertensive retinopathy. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. Make sure you make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.